welcome back to my channel natasha here aka the goddess tosh and today's video is going to kind of be like maybe like a week in my life i'm thinking a little vlog but look at my lips they finally went down to like a normal size i feel like i kind of miss when they were like swollen but they look pretty good still like a little bit of bruising if you saw my last video which i did like a full face of filler and I'm basically still kind of healing up. So yeah, I just got home from work. Um, I did like a little Trader Joe's grocery run and I don't have a Trader Joe's near me. So anytime I'm in the city, I feel like it's a must to stop by there. So I'm gonna do like a little haul of what I got. Okay, so I got these mango slices i don't know but they look good i got these which i've already been munching on my trainer would say this is a no got like a lot of frozen stuff this cauliflower stir fry that look good um yogurts Which leads me to why I'm here. There's some I've been watching Desperate Housewives. And these women are crazy. Two weeks later. What's up, guys? Huh, oh my god, I know that this video was originally supposed to be like a week in my life, but y'all, it's been like two weeks and a lot has fucking happened. And uh, I'm not a good vlogger and I'm trying to be. I've been saying this for like two years. Oh, I'm going to vlog more but when it comes down to it and you're out in public and you're doing things you're in the moment you're not really thinking about it but let's just do like a quick little recap of this week so i got some i got a sew in shout out to my girl's looking like crazy right now so maybe i shouldn't tag her until like i fix it a little bit but I dyed my natural hair back blonde, which y'all knew it was coming, okay? Like, I was doing the wigs and all that for a little while, but deep in my heart, I am a blonde, okay? But this time around, I'm going to make sure that I keep my hair as healthy as possible because those of you that may not know, I did, like, a big chop. So it's been going on maybe, like, I want to say, like, I did it in November, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, so yeah, I did a big chop in November, so it's been like nine months or so, and my hair, my natural hair grew a lot, um, and curl pattern, everything popping right now. I'm trying to minimize the damage as much as possible. I'm using like a lot of Olaplex and trying not to put as much heat on my hair. I'm wrapping it, I'm putting the bonnet, um, that's probably why right now I look a little crazy because... I haven't really been putting any heat on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm on this blonde journey again. And I think this time around, I'm just going to like let it grow, not be so such in a rush to bleach it. Because every time I would have a dark grew, I'd be like running to bleach it, running to bleach it. And that obviously, the more you bleach it, the more damage. So it's like when it is time to bleach it, I'm going to be like very careful with um, the developer I use. I'm going to make sure I use the same bleach every time, etc um so yeah what else has been going on okay so i went to go see drake so when the tickets first came out for it's all a blur tour you know they were so freaking expensive they were like a thousand dollars two thousand dollars like for nosebleeds and i was like i gave up on seeing my husband but something told me i think i saw like a tiktok and they were like oh because you know he did seven shows in new york we're so blessed that drake loves us um, he did seven shows in New York, so something told me, like, just go check. Just go see if you can get some, like, last-minute tickets, bruh. I did it the night before, and I got, like, floor, not floor seats, but, like, lower-level seats for, like, less than $300. Like, that is unheard of. Like, and then it's, like, he's going to be in New York until Wednesday, and I'm, like, okay, maybe I should, like, try to see him again. But 
I'll keep y'all updated. And my shirt says, I like what Drake likes. I love his merch. I know people were talking shit like, oh, his merch is so cheap. I liked his merch. I wanted to buy everything, but I only bought two shirts. I bought this one and I bought the Her Loss um, album cover. Yeah, I should really like stop talking and get ready because I need to get my lashes done and then I'm going to work. So, see y'all soon. Someone just had the nerve to ask me, what do I use to dye my hair? I am a natural blonde. It's me again and i know i look so different than i did in the other clips i feel like i look so different in every clip in this video that's because it's been over a course of like three weeks and i have been doing like little things procedures beautifying myself and right now um <laughs> i just got my eyebrows microbladed my sister like my blood sister does microblading and she's the go honestly like her attention to detail is just impeccable and this is something I've been wanting for a long time, but I finally decided to do it. And if anybody's going to touch my eyebrows or do my eyebrows, it's going to be my sister. Now, disclaimer, like right now, the brows do look pretty intense. Keep in mind, if you've ever researched microblading or if you know anything about it, you know that it's a process. It's very much a trust the process. So I love the shape. The color right now is a little intense, but listen, guys, beauty is not for the week and there's sometimes things that you need to do if you really want to be the baddest bitch and that's that's it honestly like it's not about like changing your appearance drastically it's about you know giving yourself that little confidence boost and investing your looks and in this case i invested in my eyebrows so shout out to my sister she really does this shit she's very talented very dedicated to her craft and i'm just really excited to see the final results of my eyebrows um but i'm definitely going to insert some clips in the next few clips to show you um how the eyebrows were looking directly after and also a clip of how they look before and honestly like i said like i couldn't be happier like you know i've done a few things to my to my face recently i've gotten some filler and i just got my eyelashes done as you saw in the other clip and it's like i'm feeling like on top of the world like honestly i couldn't be happier and it's like it's just giving me more confidence to not have to rely on makeup and honestly we're not gonna sugarcoat things on this channel anymore i feel like in the past i've tried to be so like cutesy and oh my god and like you know we're not doing that i'm gonna get on here with a bonnet if i feel like it no makeup you know gonna show you the real me and we're gonna create a family here so thank you guys so much for watching and follow me on my social media so this is actually called ombre brows what i got done so it's similar to microblading but honestly like it looks more natural and you know you have more freedom with the shape and you know everything versus microblading is more for like the shape that you already have and like I really like I had eyebrows but they were very sparse in areas and like if you see like my pictures and stuff and you see me with eyebrows I fill those in like anytime you see me with eyebrows I fill them in so it's like for me now to have like eyebrows that I don't have to fill in that I just could like 
wake up and my eyebrows are already like this. This is a blessing. Now, um, rating my experience, like I said, my sister is very professional, very gentle. Definitely book her if you're looking for your dream eyebrows. But um, pain level, I would say this side hurt way more for some reason than this side. But, you know, she does numb your eyebrows when you're getting them done. So that did help a lot. And if you've ever gotten tattoos, it's a similar sensation. Keep in mind that your face is more sensitive. But, you know everybody's skin is different like i was like very fortunate to not really have like too much redness or anything but that is very normal um so yeah like i just couldn't be happier thank you again to my sister and her instagram i'm gonna put it right here so yeah